There's riot police with like full like ARs like running through the club in full body armor. The event formerly known as H2I is uh, an event that takes place in Ocean City, Maryland every year that used to have a physical address right outside of Ocean City, Maryland that was an official show titled H2OI put on by an event coordinator that slowly dissolved and turned just into a city of madness uh, at this point in, in 2020. This past year was just a city of madness and burnouts and cops and riots and bottle throwings and fireworks and a lot of, a lot of arrests. I first went to H2OI in 2013, where I filmed my first video out there, which uh, my friends and myself and a lot of the community that watched my videos agree is probably the quintessential video that I made from that event, as it captures the event uh, in almost its infancy. There weren't a ton of cops present. There weren't uh, cops pulling over cars and impounding cars for a slight amount of camber or a loud exhaust where there were still fun being had and burnouts and donuts being had, but somewhat responsibly. That's as responsible as you can do a burnout in the middle of the street or parking lot. Since then, I've created a video every year from 2013 until this year of 2020, which I believe will be my last year making a video at the event. I think after this year, I'm going to go elsewhere and try to create a, a new video or a new maybe a possibly a new event somewhere else that is a little bit more tame and taking it back to maybe some of the original h 2 roots where there's still some burnouts, there's still some donuts, there's still some fun times, but things aren't as rioty because that's where things get sketchy. I don't want my car around a bottle being thrown. I created the first film in 2013 that took off at h 2 where I filmed my experience, the happenings that went, ha went down, uh, filming features of cars, and using music to just fit the vibe perfectly. Uh, and that was back when I kind of didn't worry about copyright so much on YouTube. So that whole video got flagged like within a heartbeat anyway. I've since used a little bit different music which I think might have hindered the videos in the future. Um, but that's just from not wanting to get the video blocked in countries. That original video is blocked in a bunch of countries because of copyright stuff. Stuff that is just out of my control. That event is kind of what shaped me and is what I'm almost known for at this point in time is for creating videos at this event that at this point hundreds of thousands of people have gone to and that definitely hundreds of thousands of dollars in ticket revenue has been created as well. Probably thousands of tires have been burned at the same time. I definitely owe a lot to this event. I definitely owe a lot to the city of Ocean City and the people that go to this event and the people that I film. But at the same time, over the years, I feel some sort of responsibility for the event's deterioration because I've also been the one that's documented uh, this happenings and whatnot. And at the same time, you you know, going into these style events, you kind of consider yourself almost like a reporter or a news reporter. You're there to document the happenings. If it's happening, I'm probably gonna film it. If I see a burnout happening, I'm probably gonna film it and maybe yell, yeah, do a burnout, whatever, because it's gonna look cool on footage. And I know it's gonna, it's gonna do good on YouTube. People love burnouts. I love burnouts. I don't love, people fighting with cops. I don't love people throwing bottles at cops. I don't love cops impounding cars for a little bit of camber. But over the years, this event has grown massively and people kind of just come to it now to party and to have a good time, um, which is fine and all. Uh, but when it gets to crowds, you know, way overreacting and like I said, throwing bottles or lighting off fireworks or shooting fireworks at cops or, you know, yelling obscene things at each other or the police to an extent is just way too much. And obviously it'd be nice to go back to what it was, but I think at this point, it's too far gone. And I, I of course take some responsibility for that because I document it, because I put it out there. People say, hey, I wanna be in that video that got a million views. I wanna, I wanna have me doing a burnout, uh, get, get a million views. I totally understand that my videos probably promoted some of that and which I take responsibility for. But at the same time, you probably shouldn't fight a cop. You know, it's not gonna look that good. And we're definitely not gonna film that. Uh, but over the years, there's been some crazy stuff that's happened. Uh, some of the insane things, I, I've been in handcuffs at H show. That's the only time I've ever been in handcuffs for a reason that wasn't my fault that, you know, got resolved quickly. Another uh, happening that we documented, we heard over uh, on Instagram that a Mustang had flipped over and got crushed or whatever. The guy was okay, but Mustang flipped over and got crushed because uh, he was hooning in the street or whatnot. So we left the shoot that we were at, we ran over there and the scene's kind of still unfolding. We go to find the owner, we see that he's okay. So we interview him, we ask him if we can interview him. And he said that he had just like a bike came out of nowhere. So he swerved and his car flipped over a bunch of times. The car was crushed and the guy in like ace bandage up and bleeding a little bit, but okay. Um, and he was telling us about that story. So that was pretty wild to see in the middle of a city of Mustang. Well, I guess it's not too rare to see a Mustang turned upside down, but we saw that, which was interesting. One of the years when it was raining, this Porsche owner, somebody yelled at the curb from the curbside for him to do a burnout and uh, he did as such, but uh, the rain uh, did its thing and carried him into the curb, which then proceeded to tear his entire hub, his entire wheel off the side of his Porsche. 
So I got there as soon as that part happened and I documented the police uh, documenting the situation and I got him like turning around his wheel with the rotor and the brake and everything inside the wheel totally separate from the car, which it, it's not how that's supposed to be. And I think they're supposed to stay together. So that was insane to see. In the past years, uh, there's this infamous story of a Supra stair climber where a Supra, uh, this red Supra crashed into his stair set and just the stairs toppled on top of it. I've witnessed this past year some like wild, crazy riots. I've witnessed intersections being taken over. I've, this past year, we were filming like an intersection and the cops start come out and start pepper spraying everybody and are using this mace, whatever they use, that smells horrible. And they start coming towards us. And we're just three, me and my friends, they're filming and photographing and they start walking towards us, getting closer and closer. So we turn around and start like running because we don't want to get pepper sprayed, we want to get maced. And we realize we're kind of trapped in this hotel parking lot. It's fenced in. You're like, oh, what do we do? Well, they're probably not gonna, you know, they see us with our cameras, they're probably not gonna do anything. And they get closer and closer and they start spraying and they say, you gotta get out of here, you're trespassing now. Um, and they start spraying the ground. So we go to hop the fence, I hop the fence, and then my friend goes to hop the fence and he's like, six, nine, he's super tall, and he gets stuck like in a movie. He gets stuck on top of the fence as there's a wall of riot police with pepper spray walking towards him. Um, and he's stuck on the fence like, oh my, my fly, my fly, my zipper's stuck, I'm stuck on the fence. My other friend Sam's on the other side of the fence trying to push him over, and as the police are getting closer and closer and like spraying the ground behind him, uh, he finally gets over, rips his pants, my other friend Sam jumps over the fence, uh, and we, we go our separate ways, obviously away from the cops, but that stuff shouldn't happen at a car event, like that shouldn't happen at a car show, which is like crazy to think about. There's also this uh, nightclub called Secrets at an Ocean City that everyone kind of goes to on Saturday night. Everyone enjoys the week, and then on Saturday night they go to to relax. It's a giant club, everyone has a good time. Uh, so one of these years, a few years back, uh, we're all just standing in line to get into the club, and we hear like helicopters above us, we hear sirens going by, we hear all this type of stuff, cra craziness going on. We're standing there in line, and all of a sudden, like three or four SWAT police like run past us in line to run into the club, and no one's acting like anything happened. And we're like, what's going on here? And lo and behold, like this guy crashed or hit a cop or hit a pedestrian in the roadway, ran through the club, went into the water and was like swimming in the water outside of the club because it's like a beach club, you can swim up to it. But everything in this club is going normal, like nothing's happening. The bars, the music's still playing, everyone's just going about their business. Meanwhile, there's a helicopter circling, there's riot police with like full like ARs like running through the club in full body armor. And then we find out the next day that this guy hit a pedestrian or, the, or he hit a cop or something. I forget what the exact story was. But we were just all sitting there having some having some drinks as these cops were running by with AR-15s and this guy's swimming away from the cops trying to get away uh, in the bay. It's not even the ocean, there's, he can only go so far. And that was like insane to think about that happened at a car event, like that shouldn't happen. Nonetheless, it's fun. It's definitely a good time because you get to be there with all your friends. Like that's how it started. Like me and my friends just wanted to take a weekend down with our cool cars or at that time just filming it. And I want to go now with my car, but I, I don't because I don't want to get a bottle thrown out my car. So we go down just to document it, have a good time and Saturday night, go out and have some drinks. And the entire time you wake up every morning just to hear the sound of cars going by and you hear exhaust going by and then you get ruined your morning by hearing a VQ go by. There's a lot of cool stuff that just sets the scene that puts you in this area that is like nowhere else. Like you wake up to the sounds of cars, you go to sleep to the sounds of cars, you go to sleep to the sounds of two-step, and you know you get to sit there at a restaurant and the entire day the traffic is full of just cool cars going by you, whether it's uh, a stance car, a muscle car, you know, some, some low rider, whatever it may be. There's all these different types of cars in the city just piled in on this strip that just everyone loops around the entire day and cruises, which is an amazing experience until now the people get a little bit too righty and the cops get a little bit too power hungry um, and want a little bit too much money and uh, kind of ruin it for everybody, really. I definitely owe a lot of my career to H2O, to the people of Ocean City that go and watch the videos. Uh, but again, like I said, I think next year I'm gonna try to find a different outlet to express all of that because I don't know if I wanna promote that anymore. Homeowner's insurance may just seem like some boring thing that you have to have to get a mortgage, but it can be a surprising way to actually save a lot of money. Policy Genius is your advocate to do that. They shop your policy and your insurance needs amongst all the major carriers and find you the best deal. In fact, every time it renews, Policy Genius does it all over again. They check everybody else, they make sure you're getting the best deal, and if there's a better deal out there, they switch you for free. Policy Genius can also bundle your homeowner's policy with your car insurance policy and save you even more. Policy Genius has saved their combined auto and home insurance customers an average of $1,127 a year. So visit the link in the description below, tell them a little bit about yourself and your property, and they'll tell you if you're getting the best deal. Be sure to thank them for their support of Benwiki. Wiki.